Welcome to this module on approach to chest pain. Chest pain is a very common symptom and often it is considered to be alarming because it is associated with cardiac pathology, especially myocardial infarction. In general, the causes or the origin of chest pain can be from cardiac source, it can be from the lung, it can be from the esophageal, it can be also be due to musculoskeletal and it can be occasionally neural. When we see a patient with chest pain, the general um, teaching is that you are supposed to ask a set of sub-questions which will tell us more details about chest pain which you can call as the pattern of chest pain and then you will ultimately match it with a known pattern and try to arrive at a possible diagnosis. Now the general questions which has been considered important in a patient with chest pain is the duration of chest pain, the onset whether it is sudden in onset or gradual in onset, the number of times it occurs in a day or in a week which is the frequency and how it has been going about was it improving was it getting aggravated the site where the pain is occurring the character which can be described as squeezing or throbbing or burning and whether it is radiating or not like to the shoulder or to the back or to the abdomen any specific aggravating factors, any relieving factors and associated symptoms. Now the first and the last marks I have made, the patient characteristics and associated symptoms are important when you approach a patient with chest pain. Now I have given four clinical scenarios here. You can see the sub-questions on one side and the description of the patient. Patient 1 is a 58 year old male who is a smoker, has come with a chest pain for 6 hours, onset is acute, it is persistently present, he feels that it is progressively increased in intensity, localized to the left side of the chest, squeezing in character, he says it radiates to the left shoulder, even a very mild exertion aggravates the pain, no specific relieving factors he could identify and the chest pain is associated with breathlessness, sweating and dizziness. So in a 58 year old male who is a smoker who puts him at high risk for coronary artery disease, presents with acute progressive chest pain which is not even relieved at rest and given the fact that it is associated with breathlessness, sweating and dizziness, this is a typical presentation of an acute myocardial infarction. Patient number 2, a 42 year old lady who is a diabetic and hypertensive, who comes with pain for a long duration of 7 months, which is gradual in onset, occurs 2 to 3 episodes per day, <coughs> static, localized to the left chest, dull aching, not radiating. She gets it when she climbs 2 floors of stairs. She takes rest for 5 minutes to relieve it. Chest tightness is associated with it. So this is again a pain which can be described as an anginal pain because uh, it is occurring on exertion and it is relieved by rest. Anginal pain can also radiate to the shoulder or to the left arm or to the neck occasionally and may be associated with sweating episodes. Now this pattern of anginal pain in a patient who is a diabetic, hypertensive and though she is a female, the presence of diabetes and hypertension removes the advantage of being a female. So the protective um, effect over coronary artery disease is lost because of this comorbidities. So you have to think in terms of the possibility of a chronic stable angina in patient number 2. Patient 3 who is a 62 year old male, again four months of pain, gradual, four episodes a day, it is progressive, left-sided, dull aching, similar to the second patient, it is aggravated on climbing four and relieved by rest, associated with breathlessness and syncope. Now, given the information that he is a male above 55 years of age, 
Chronic stable angina should be considered because the pattern is very much similar to patient 2. But there are certain additional conditions which should also be suspected in a patient with angina. One is aortic stenosis, another is hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Both the conditions can also present with stable angina. So in, for this patient, given the fact that he is more than 60 years, you can consider chronic stable angina. In addition to that, you should also consider aortic stenosis more so because syncope is associated. Aortic stenosis is an outlet obstruction from the left ventricle which presents with a combination of chest pain, breathlessness and syncope. Patient 4 is a young female, acute onset pain for 2 days, multiple episodes happening about 8 times, progressive in intensity, right sided, nature appears to be sharp stabbing, not radiating, aggravated by cough and inspiration, no specific relieving factors and it is associated with cough with yellow sputum and fever. So it is a lateralized pain which is aggravated by cough and inspiration and this pattern of lateralized pain which is sharp or stabbing and aggravated by cough or inspiration can be called as pain suggestive of pleural etiology commonly pleurisy. So we can conclude that patient 4 is having a pleurisy but why is she having a pleurisy? The likely reason is an underlying severe respiratory infection in the form of consolidation fever is present, cough and yellow sputum is present and consolidation is often associated with pleural inflammation producing such a type of pain due to pleural origin. So patient 4 the likely reason for chest pain is pleurisy. And you have 4 more scenarios here. Patient 5, a 32 year old female having chest pain for 5 days, acute and onset Intensity more than 10 times a day, progressive sight is over the left side of the chest, character is stabbing, it's not radiating, it's aggravated by inspiration, supine position or even while taking food. Relieving factor is sitting, leaning forward and it is associated with fever, palpitation and breathlessness. Now in this particular thing there is partly positional element and a respiratory element in the aggravating factors and one more thing is that it is associated with fever and palpitation frequency is very high more than 10 days so looking from one side it looks like somewhat a plural origin because inspiration is aggravating the pain but sitting and leaning forwards is giving a relieving factor so this is due to inflammation of the pericardium so pericardium since it rubs with the pleura it can produce aggravation on inspiration and uh, supine position will increase the friction and therefore the pain can go up while swallowing the esophagus will distend and it will cause friction over the pericardium and the pain can go up while sitting and leaning forward relieves this friction and the patient feels better. Additionally fever and palpitation and breathlessness could point towards the possibility of a pericarditis being the reason for pain in patient number 5. Patient 6 is a 45 year old who had a recent leg fracture, very short duration of pain just one day, acute and onset, 4 episodes he has had per day, increasing in intensity, right sided, stabbing nature, not radiating or any aggravating or relieving factor and it is associated with breathlessness, cough and hemoptysis. Now this patient has a risk factor for what, what is called pulmonary embolism. He is not ambulatory and so thrombus can get accumulated in the legs and can get dislodged and it can produce infarction of the lung. Now it is a lateralized pain of very severe intensity, rapidly progressing, associated with breathing difficulty, cough and hemoptysis this could be due to pain of pulmonary infarction uh, which occurs due to peripheral infarction and causing a sort of pleurisy. Patient number 7, 28 year old male, 
pain for three days acute multiple times like how you see in patient number five more than 10 times a day it is not progressing central chest dragging in character aggravated by inspiration and lifting objects no specific relieving factors and no associated symptom so multiple episodes of pain which looks like a plural origin the, the reason being aggravated by inspiration but it is also aggravated by lifting objects so such a kind of a pain which is not associated with any other significant symptom can originate from the costochondral junction so when the costochondral junction gets inflamed you can get such a pattern of pain so this is a pain of costochondritis which has a partial pattern of plural origin pain patient number 8 35 year old male duration of pain is 2 months gradual occurring about 4 days 4, four times a day it's not progressive central chest burning nature radiates up to the throat aggravated by food and drinking hot water water brash is associated so this looks like a pain which is starting in the upper abdomen and radiating to the throat and this happens in a condition called gastroesophageal reflex disease and the fact that it is a central chest burning nature and radiating to the throat and the patient tries all sorts of things like drinking water or taking um, chilled or taking a curd so this is a pain of gastroesophageal reflex disease so i think you have got an overview about how to approach a patient with chest pain what additional question to be asked and how to arrive at a possible diagnosis i have given you eight scenarios and you can enjoy more videos on chest pain on youtube you can see it on the right side of the panel do mail your suggestion to mail at drbaskar.info. Thank you.